I want to go over a few things about uh, two's complement representation. Um, if you don't already understand how to write numbers in binary and how to figure out the decimal equivalent of a number that is written in binary, you need to go back and view the videos that I've done before on binary and hexadecimal and octal. Um, because here I'm going to start just with uh, two's complement and then I'm going to talk about one's complement and eight bit sign and magnitude. But I'm going to start with two's complement. So the thing that you need to realize is that there are two uses of this word complement. So we have two's complement representation. And in two's complement representation, this is a way of representing numbers. And um, it's the computers don't understand decimal. And they certainly don't understand if I say negative 4.2. They don't know what that means. And so I have to have a way to uh, express it for them. And one way to express it is with this representation called two's complement representation. So this is a way of representing numbers. It's a method of representing numbers. Taking the complement of a number, so in this instance, complement um, is an adjective. It's describing representation. It's a type of representation. Taking a complement, so there, that's a noun, or complementing a number, there's a verb, means um, finding its negative, or finding its opposite. And so the complement of a positive number is negative. So the complement, I'll do it in, in uh, decimal, the complement of negative 10 is 10. And the complement of 4 is negative 4. And that's in decimal. Those are just numbers that you understand. So it means finding its opposite. And so once we understand how to express numbers in two's complement, when we take the complement, then we're going to, that just means that we are finding its negative. So two's complement representation. First of all, you have to know how many bytes you're talking about. Uh, so it depends on the number of bytes. And I will be using 8-bit just because that's uh, normal, you know, it's a, a usual uh, number of bits to have. It doesn't have to be, but I'll be using 8. Um, and a, a positive number in 2's complement representation. is its binary uh, representation. So it's just whatever it is in binary, that is its two's complement representation. Um, a negative number is formed from the positive number by taking its complement. Similarly, if I had a negative number in two's complement representation and I wanted to find its positive value, I would take its complement. And so how do you take a complement? There are two ways. One way is to take the ones complement and add one. I'm not going to do that here. The other way is start with the least significant bit 
that's going to be the one on the right. Keep any zeros you find until you get to the first one. Keep that one and flip all the rest. So for example, let's say I had the number 00101011 and I want to find its twos complement. Now it is already in twos complement representation. If it wasn't in twos complement representation, it doesn't make any sense to talk about taking its complement. It is already in twos complement representation. Uh, because I'm telling you it is. How do you know it is? I'm telling you it is. It is in two's complement representation. And now to take its complement, so it's, it's in two's complement. To take its complement, I'll start at the right. I keep any zeros that I find. I don't find any until I come to the first one, and I keep it, and then I flip all the rest. Now, what if I wanted to know the value of this number? I can't read this number and tell you what the value is, but I can read this one and tell you what the value is. So that's 1's place, 2's place, 4's place, 8's place, 16, 32nd's place. So that number is 32. There's a 1 in the 32's place, plus 8, plus 2, plus 1. So that looks like it's 43. So that means this number is negative 43. What if I wanted to know the value of 1011011? And I'm told, I'm telling you, it is a twos complement number. Well, it's a twos complement number. You look at it, and the first bit is 1. Since the first bit is 1, you know it's negative. You don't know what it is, but you know it's negative. You can't read negative numbers easily in two's complement. You can only read, I'm going to make this a zero. You can only read uh, positive numbers easily. So what we're going to do is, I'll just say this is negative. We don't know what it is. I'll just say it's negative x, whatever x is. So I'm, what, I'm going to find x. So I find x by finding the complement of this number. So I keep, start at the right. I keep any zeros that I find until I get to the first one. I keep it and then I flip all the bits after that. Now I have a positive number, and I can figure out what it is. This is the ones place, the twos place, the fours place, the eights place, 16, 32, 64. So that means that this number is 64 plus eight plus four, which is 64 plus 12, which is 76. So X is 76. So my original number is negative 76. So this number is negative 76. Now, why do we use two's complement? It's because it makes arithmetic easy for the computer to do. Let's say the computer needed to add negative 76 plus 43. If you already have those numbers in two's complement, which we do, we know 10110100 equals negative 76. And we know 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1 equals 43. I can just add these together. 0 plus 1 is 1. 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 plus 0 is 1. 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 plus 0 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 0. Carry the 1. 1 plus 0 plus 0 is 1. 1 plus 0 is 1. I do have to determine if there's overflow. There's overflow if the carry in equals the carry out, uh, or if the carry in does not equal the carry out. So the carry in to this last addition was a zero uh, because I didn't have a carry. This last one was one plus zero plus zero was one. It did not have a carry. And then my last addition, one plus zero is one, also did not have a carry. So there is no overflow. And so that means that this value right here uh, ought to equal 
the value of negative 76 plus 43. So I look at it and I say, well, does it? What is negative 76 plus 43? Well, it's negative. And look at this number. This number is negative. I know it's negative because the first bit is 1. That tells me it's negative. I can't just change that bit and make it positive. I have to take the complement. So all I know about this number right now is that it's negative. I don't know what it is until I take its complement and I find out what the positive value is. So um, to take its complement, I'll start at the right. I keep any zeros I find. I don't find any. Um, I can keep the first one I get to and then flip all the ones after that. And this gets me, this is in the ones place, and this is in the 30 seconds place. So this gets me 33, and is negative 76 plus 43 equal to negative 33? And this is negative 33 because the original was negative. I just found out it was 33 by flipping the bit, and the answer is yes, it is. Okay, so let's take a look at some homework problems uh, like the ones you have. So the first one says, take, so, or it might be something like this, take the 8-bit 1's complement and 2's complement of the following. Um, so that means that we're, if we're taking the one's complement, then we're assuming it's in the one's complement representation. If we're taking the two's complement, we're assuming it's in two's complement representation. If it's positive, we'll get a negative result. If it's negative, we'll get a positive result. So the one's complement, you just flip all the bits. The two's complement, you keep any zeros you find starting at the end, keep the first one you get to, and then flip everything after that. And that's what you get. Now, the other method for finding the two's complement is by to take the one's complement. So this is a little extra. You take the one's complement and add one. So if I add one to that, one plus one is zero, carry the one. One plus one is zero, carry the one, and then one. 0, 0, 1, 1, and if you see, that does it in that. Um, so I started with a positive number, and my 1's complement and 2's complement are negative numbers. Okay, so now, um, let's say I have, I want to determine the sine and magnitude. complement and two's complement representation. So I'm finding the representation. That means I'm not taking the complement. I'm finding the representation of uh, 56 and negative 104. Okay, so 56. So the first thing to know is for positive numbers, all representations are the same. So 56, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. The smallest, the biggest number that is smaller than 56 is 32. So I'll put a 1 in the 32's place. And I subtract 4, and I have 24 left. The biggest number that is smaller than 24 is 16. So I'll put a 1 there. And then the biggest number that is smaller than 8 is 8. So I'll put a 1 there. And then I have zero left over. So 56 
equals zero zero one 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 zero 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 in sine and magnitude, in one's complement, and in two's complement. Well, what about negative one oh four? So the first thing we have to do is figure out positive one oh four. Positive 104 the biggest one of these values that is less than or equal to 104 is 64 so 104 minus 64 is 10 is 30 the biggest number that's smaller than I mean the biggest number that's smaller than or equal to 30 is 16 and then minus 16 14, so I'm getting 8. And then 6 is 4 and 2, so we get that. So 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0 equals positive 104. So sine and magnitude, which is easy, but useless as far as the computer is concerned, means just take this one and flip the first bit. We get 1. And we leave everything else. Here. That equals negative point four. Uh, one's magnitude. I mean one's complement. I'll just flip all the bits, and I get one zero one zero 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 one equals negative one forty, and one's complement. In two's complement, I'll keep that last zero, I'll keep the first one I come to, and I flip the others. These are just three different ways of saying negative 140. So they all mean negative 140, it just depends on which representation you're talking about. Um, I will do one more. I'm going to say Let's say I have to add together two numbers. So I'm given two numbers in uh, two's complement. And I want, mm, I don't have time for this, so I'm going to finish this with another video.